Hello, I'm Carl and this is my house. So the challenge was to make something out of paper that had at least one moving part. Uh, I decided to try and make a robot arm. As you'll see, things didn't go to plan. So what I made was uh, an arm, a robot arm. Fortunately though, the stepper motors I used, which are just these uh, 28B YG48 stepper motors, don't really have enough power to move it. So at the moment it's pulsing, and as you can see, it's not making any difference. If I take the belt off, Can't see it's actually moving the pulley. Um, I obviously made a mistake there that this pulley should have been the same as this pulley, and it isn't. So this is actually having to do twice as much almost work just to move that. And um, it is something I will have to address in any further designs. Um, but one triumph of this design. Turn off. Uh, was these joints, these compliant joints here, or just some flexors wrapped across so that you go from one side all the way to the other side and it gives you this amazing range of motion so you can go from one side all the way to the other and back. So if you see this, this joint goes all the way around and it's incredibly low friction. I do wish I had uh, made these arms quite a bit smaller. Yeah, the weight doesn't mean there's quite a bit of flex in these arms, and it does put extra uh, strain on the motors. But lessons learned to that in future. The motors, uh, the pulleys, sorry, were made of just rolled up paper. These are rolled up paper, the flexors are cardboard, the arms are rolled up paper, and it's all just glued together. And it was made mostly from just scrap materials. And it's amazing that you can do that. It's the first time I've sort of done anything like that, and I'll definitely try and do more in the future. So I've learned so much from just doing that. Uh, I did actually make a base. I'll try and show that. Uh, yeah, actually in work, but you know, it's moving parts. <laughs> Funny the more has worked. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's some very good content on here. Thank you again.